Dear students, I am Dr. Kavita, Assistant Professor, Maranit Science College for Women, Mysore. Welcoming you to the fifth part of photochemistry. In this session, you will come to know the reasons for high quantum efficiency and the reasons for low quantum efficiency. From the previous session, you have understood what is quantum yield or quantum efficiency. So it is the ratio of number of molecules formed or decomposed in a given time to the number of quanta of radiation absorbed in the same time or ratio of number of moles formed or decomposed in a given time to the number of Einstein of radiation absorbed in the same time. And according to Bordenstein, every photochemical reaction involves two process. Primary process in which atom or molecule absorbs and quantum of energy and gets activated and in secondary process this activated molecule undergo reaction to form product. Let us see the reasons for high quantum yield. First reason reaction subsequent to the primary reaction resulting more molecules to form or decompose. Here one molecule is undergoing decomposition to give product and one of the fragment react with another reactant molecule to give product. So here more number of reactant molecule undergoing decomposition for the absorption of one photon. So the quantum efficiency will be high for this type of reaction. So second reason, a chain reaction in secondary process forms many molecules per photon. That is, in secondary process, a chain reaction may be set up so that more number of product molecules will be formed. Next reason, if the secondary reaction is exothermic, then the heat of the reaction may activate other molecules to react. That is, one of the reaction may be exothermic and the heat liberated will be absorbed by another reactant molecule which gets activated and forms product. And another reason, an intermediate product may be formed which acts as a catalyst. So in the secondary process, any product form may act as catalyst so that the rate of the reaction will be increased and more product will be formed. Now, let us see the example for high quantum yield. This formation of hydrogen chloride. So, when a mixture of hydrogen and chlorine is exposed to light of wavelength less than 4000 Armstrong, hydrogen chloride will be formed. It is in primary process. Chlorine molecule absorbs quantum of energy and dissociates to give to chlorine atom. In secondary process, this chlorine atom reacts with hydrogen molecule to form hydrogen chloride and hydrogen atom. This hydrogen atom further reacts with chlorine molecule to give hydrogen chloride and chlorine. And chlorine generated in the third step will again react with another hydrogen molecule to form hydrogen chloride and hydrogen atom. Thus, step 2 and step 3 will be repeating and step 2 and step 3 constitutes a self-propagating chain reaction. So, more number of hydrogen chloride molecules will be formed till the reaction gets terminated. Chlorine atoms recombine to form chlorine molecule at the walls of the container. So, thus by the absorption of one quantum of energy, large number of hydrogen chloride molecules will be formed Thus, the quantum efficiency of the reaction will be high as the order of 10 to the power of 6. Now, let us see the reasons for low quantum yield or low quantum efficiency. The first reason may be due to the deactivation of reacting molecules. The reacting molecule will be activated by the absorption of one photon and this activated molecule may be deactivated due to loss of its energy. It may lose its energy by colliding with other reactant molecules or by the phenomenon known as fluorescence or phosphorescence. Next reason may be due to reverse of primary reaction. 
so the primary reaction may be reversed so that reactant molecules will be in the same state and the third reason is recombination of dissociated fragments to form the original molecule like the reactant molecule will be decomposed to give product and the product will recombine to give back the reactant in such cases also the quantum efficiency will be very low let us see the example for low quantum efficiency that is formation of hydrogen bromide hydrogen molecule reacts with bromine molecule in presence of light to form hydrogen bromide so in primary process bromine molecule absorbs a quantum of energy dissociates to give to bromine atoms in secondary process bromine atom reacts with hydrogen molecule to form hydrogen bromide and hydrogen atom this hydrogen atom reacts with bromine molecule to form hydrogen bromide and bromine atom in the next step hydrogen atom plus hydrogen bromide gives hydrogen molecule plus bromine atom and then in the next step bromine atoms recombine to form bromine molecule so here step 2 in secondary process is very slow and the remaining steps step 3 4 and 5 depending on step 2 will also becomes very slow also the product formed will be decomposed in step and the bromine atoms recombine to form bromine molecule thus the number of hydrogen bromide molecule formed will be very less and the quantum efficiency for this reaction is very low that is 10 to the power of minus 2 thus formation of hydrogen chloride has high quantum efficiency whereas formation of hydrogen bromide has very low quantum efficiency so with this i will conclude this session thank you